of the most powerful problem solving technique for dynamics huh? that I am using is the Padilla's dating principle. What? Let me share it to you. This is a question from Christian Nick. I just modified some given for copyright protection purposes. Two objects fly towards each other. When they are 1,400 meters apart, their velocities and accelerations are respectively 30 and 15, 0.5 and 1 meter per second squared. A third object left the first object and moves with constant velocity of 80 meter per second towards and backwards. The first object, the second object, then the first object again, then the second object again, to and fro until the first and second objects collide. Find the total distance traveled by the third object. Now, this is the principle whenever you are solving two or more moving objects. What is the dating principle? Huh? Simple. If you have a date for you to meet, what is the basic, fundamental, common sense condition? Same time, same place, right? So, that is the Padilla's dating principle. Same time, same place. It means if there are two objects that will meet at the same place, their time will be the same. Ooh. T of object A must be equal to T of object B. This is what we are going to use in here. Now, we have here object A and object B called here in the problem as the first and the second object initially 1,400 meters apart. Now, this has an initial velocity of 30 meters per second. This has an initial velocity of 15 meters per second. And this is with acceleration of 0.5 meter per second squared. While this has an acceleration of 1 meter per second squared. But this one is moving at a greater velocity but constant one. Which is 80 meter per Per second, per second. What happens is this. As this object A and object B, 1400 meters apart initially, as they move, they move towards each other. But this is a faster moving object. By that time, object C will reach object B. Then this will continue to move. And this will come back. And by this time, this object C will have meet object A. They will continue to move until object C meets object B. By this time, object A is here. So the movement of C is back and forth. Let us say it's a fly. <laughs> Take note that as object A and object B comes to close, the motion of object C, which is 80 meter per second, but the to and fro movement becomes faster and faster. Okay? So until such time that object A and object B meet here. This is our meeting point this one so at the same time your object c is also take note at this point so the three objects meet here they left here at the same time they meet here at the same time so what can we say here t a equals t b equals t 
C. Their time are equal. So as far as object C is concerned, using the constant velocity formula, S is Vt, Sc is Bc times Tc, which let me just call time T. So Bc is 80. All we need to do is find the time. How can we have the time? The time for object A and object B are also the same as T. But what is the equation between A and B? We know that the total distance traveled by them, S for A and S for B, are equal. If I'm going to clear this drawing, let me clean this up. Let me remove... Let me remove first in the picture object C. Object A and object B eventually will meet. This is the meeting point where object C will also uh, reach or will also meet them. This is SA, this is SB. Now we know here that SA is equal to uh, SA plus SB is equal to 1400. Correct? But we know that our formula for S with velocity is V1T plus 1 half AT squared. This is our formula for S. So applying this to this and this, for SA, the initial velocity is 30 times T, V1T plus 1 half. Acceleration is 0.5 time squared the time for a and the time for b are the same while for b sb is v v1t velocity is 15 times t plus one half acceleration is one times t squared must be equal to 1400 one equation in terms of t will be able to solve time and time is equal to you have here 22.6 and negative 82.6 i solve it using quadratic equation but time cannot be negative so this is neglected so our time is 22.6 seconds so substituting this to equation 1, we'll have the total distance traveled by object C is 80 times time 22.6. And this is going to be 1808 meters. The total distance traveled by object C. You follow? I hope Christian Nick, I was able to address your question and for all the other subscribers okay so i am inviting you to visit our page and try to look at it there will definitely be a course a subject course that we are offering to you that will help you greatly in your college subjects and also for those who are reviewing find your weakness and learn more from our subject mastery courses so see you